and welcome back to the second part of this tutorial I'm going to exit now and let's take care of the taxable income so double click on the taxable income button and right in here you can use an if statement if the combo box itself combo box one dot text is less than 250 then I want the taxable well tax pay LBL tax paid so paid dot caption I want that to be equal zero so let's say that there and get rid of that and let's say and if there okay that's the very first condition the second condition let's come in here i'm going to copy that and say else if if it's greater than 250 now this variable that i declare he up here Q I want Q to be equals first thing first let's come back in here Q okay Q let's say Q will be equals to whatever we have in here and Q itself equals Q multiply by 20 divide by 100 and the tax paid this very one cut that off and paste it right underneath here equals Q right that is the second condition and the third condition is going to be according to what my view out there wants the third condition is if it's above 370 and the tax will be 30 percent and the fourth condition is if it's above 450 and the tax will be 35 there we go right okay let's run it and see how it's gonna look like now let's click on run there we go select anything let's say it's zero or is that there we go and 450 and let's come here there all right that's fine so let's reset exit and let's go back in here you see this we need to convert it to pound sign and we want the gross pay deduction and net pay in there so let's take care of the double click on on that and right here i'm now going to let's enter as follows that will be for the tax so let's copy all of this paste it right underneath here just to format it and convert it to pound sign so the tax in this case is going to be format whatever I have in there the caption let's say comma the first one is speech mark pound sign then we enter an ash dot we want it to be two decimal place no that's not a dot that should be comma Ash ash zero dot two decimal place and that is that taken care of. If I run it now and select whatever in there, there we go. Okay, it's now in pound sign. Now let's take care of this ones here. Double click on that and right underneath here, the gross pay that's going to be LBL gross gross pay dot caption equals 
and I'm just gonna format the whole lot. Copy that, paste that in here, and that will be whatever I have in here. That will be my gross pay. Yeah. That's taken care of. And now let's look for that of deduction. Let's see. LBL deduction. Copy that. Deduction and net pay. Just copy both. Now come right down here. Paste those two. In the case of deduction, that is going to just be Q. Right. Okay, let's just enter Q right there. That'll be the deduction. Why the net pay? Whatever I have on the net pay. Net pay is going to be deduction. This very one. We want to minus that from gross pay. There. Okay, now let's convert net pay itself. Let's convert that to pound sign. So copy all. Let's copy all of this. Paste it right there. And that will be whatever we have inside net pay. Paste that here. Okay. All right, so let's try this out and see how it's going to work. So we'll have a good look at the lines of code up here, up to here. So let's run it and select whatever pay taxable income. So there we go, it's working fine. So if you add this and this together, that will give us the cross pay. Okay, reset, try it again. Yeah, that's fine exit yes oh by the way let's save this come to file and save us I'm gonna save it straight into my taxable income folder make sure you select macro enable and it's going to be taxable income underscore YouTube right there we go and just click on save but make sure the file type is excel macro enable workbook click on save that is it save now now the next thing I like to do is all the data in here right here I want them I want them to be to be displayed on on my spreadsheets right here I want all of those information here on sheet number one this is sheet number one okay so I'm going to enter the following here so this one will be reference reference number there okay that's the very first one and the next one is employee employer name we have employer name here and followed by employee employee name and I'm just gonna speed that up and get back to you guys shortly okay the titles are now or the headings are now in place so let's go back in here right so let's double click on taxable income so right here I'm going to declare as follows so well, first of all let's declare that up right up there and let's say dim worksheet as work that will be worksheet there and the next one is let me say dim Add name. Let's make that up, case as range there. So those two other variables are added. Now 
I will now go back in here double click on that and right underneath here so let me just add a line so that I know where that starts from I'm going to set worksheet my variable that is right up there equals sheet one okay now set add new equals worksheet dot range and the range is going to start from a uh, 65,356 close that dot end and open a bracket x up x one up yeah close that dot offset and that's going to be one comma zero there now the next thing is let's add the very first value and the very first value is new dot offset and that is going to be zero comma zero dot value and my very first value this time around is going to be lbl pay reference dot caption there we go so that is, that's the very first one I'm just gonna copy this and use it for the others and the next one is going to be employee no txt txt employer employer's name dot text all right employer's name dot text and the next one is going to be employ employee name dot text paste that in there employee name income right and this will be one why right, this is two so let's copy that now I presume you guys get the whole idea so I'm just gonna copy that and speed up the whole process and there we go guys you see these lines of course from here down here there we actually add all of the information on the component straight onto the worksheet so let's run it and see how that's gonna work so that is the default reference and the name let's say the name is Sami that's the company name Sami and Co something like that and here is Felix Felix Moore and in here the wages of Phyllis more Phyllis more there and here tax period this is zero three task code and I number and and I code let's click on taxable there we go guys look at that so if we go to the spreadsheet now so let's just move this aside so that you guys can see the spreadsheet and if I click on this all of those information that I have in here just like you guys have seen now will be added okay look at that so let's change this to someone else let's say that is Henry Henry Kings, right? And change this. Okay, let's change his details here as well. And then I number. There we go. So if I click on taxable income, that is tax tax taxable income of Henry. 
okay guys and that is how you program how to calculate taxable income or that's how you take care of your taxable income using excel vba so with that guys i'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial i suppose you guys enjoy it and you my friend out there i suppose i've managed to answer your question thank you and bye for now